Hi, I'm Steve and I'm with I-94 RV and this is a 1998 Holiday Rambler Alumalite. This is a 32 uh, rear living room model and the dry weight on this is 10,009. So let's take a quick walk around it. Uh, the sidewalls look to be in good shape. The stickers are actually in great shape. They're not too faded. Um, you got a lot of storage here, big pass-through storage and these nice big thick insulated compartment doors. Holiday Rambler is real good at insulation. Uh, the tires look good. There's a little bit of dry rot on them. The tent, the tread looks good. They're dated 05. So this back portion looks good. No damage. Um, on the inside of this back wall, the interior wall has got some leakage and you can see that they were trying to reseal this window. So uh, it's pretty common in these fiberglass back caps that they get a little leakage. Yeah, they're trying to seal this window too. So I'll show you when we get to the inside. But anyway, it's a good opportunity to get a good price on this. Uh, it's kind of cool, you got these Jealousy style vented windows. Um, this side looks good too, the stickers don't look too bad. It's got a 10 gallon hot water heater. Um, by the way, we have not tested the systems on this, so it'll be up to the next owner to test them out. So this is an inverter, a 900 watt inverter. So that's kind of a nice thing to have. All right, let's take a look inside. Okay, the carpet's got a little bit of stainage, but overall looks to be in good shape. Uh, the worst part of that back wall is right in here, where you can see it's kind of soft and puffed out. Um, the back wall with the rear cap, though, doesn't use any, uh, the framing's not integral, so it should be all right. You got two rear chairs, this nice big sofa that makes to a bed, and then a freestanding dinette. Overall, it looks real clean in here, looks to be in good shape. A uh, nice big kitchen, a lot of counter space, it's big residential style microwave, and you've got a range top, oven, and then this big fridge. So again, we have not tested this componentry, but um, I think it all should work. It all looks pretty clean. And this is where a television would go, and then there's also a cassette player and stuff there. All right, going up into the front bedroom. There's a queen bed up here, uh, got storage underneath, and then closet storage on either side. So uh, a lot of storage in this fifth wheel. This is kind of a neat feature too. This closet here is designed so that, I don't know if you can see in there or not, but that's designed so you can put a stackable washer and dryer in there. So that's a really nice feature. Most RVs, if they have a washer-dryer section, you can only put a combo unit. Okay, so the bathroom works like this, like a split bath. You got a, a sink and a, a medicine cabinet, built-in medicine cabinet. And then on the other side, you got a porcelain toilet. And uh, there is a little bit of bulging in the linoleum there, just minor. And then in the shower, I'm 5'11", so I gotta be in the skylight a little bit. So whoever wins this trailer should love it. 